praise and honor glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. Lord, you've been good to us, oh God, Lord. You've been kind to us, oh God. By your grace, by your mercy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you believe that he the way maker? He is a miracle worker. And also the promise keeper. You got to speak to yourself tonight. Before we get done with the service tonight, I believe somebody's going to receive the miracle. Somebody's going to receive the promise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I wish to keep an honor to Bishop for allowing me to be uh, behind this pulpit. And so glad to have you with us tonight. Praise God, uh, praise God. If you have your Bible, turn with me to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1. We're going to start with uh, verse 30. And the angel said unto to her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive with thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. And verse 34. Then say Mary unto the angel, how shall this be? Seeing I know not a man. And the angel answered and said to him, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power behind shall over overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. You may be seated. Mary uh, how shall it to be? Her child implied that she, she know what the angel declared and could and would happen. Her question was how it would happen. Our circumstance often affects our faith, not necessarily in God's ability, but in his method or accomplishment, his purpose. We have faith, but only if circumstance and conduct. Circumstance often can define our faith and diminish our willing to commit the how. The angel Gabriel answered Mary, Thou shalt. When he say the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Now, right. Just like many of us, when, when you face a situation, you're coming up 2019. We look at situations, it was like, how shall it be? How is this thing going to happen? How are we going to accomplish this? It's Mary how. What you're saying is, just like many of us, how? There was house all in 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 Second Kings chapter five. Name is almost missing miracle because his logic of thinking. He thought that the man of God would come outside and put his hands and let or lay hands on I will be healed. Instead, he say he also he sent the uh, his message out. And tell him to go dip in the water of Jordan seven times, and you shall be healed. See, his logic was like, okay, now, I got water back home. I can jump in the water back home. I can be healed. But see, the whole thing have to do with obedience. It doesn't matter how it looks. Obedience is the key. See, if you're going to receive the miracle tonight, or promise tonight, so obedience is the key. See, the how is, it was like Nicodemus responded to Jesus, how shall it be? How shall we be born again? So like Pastor was preaching this morning about the, uh, 
the natural eyes, okay? How can it be go back to be born again in the natural? But Jesus is talking about spiritual. S- see, the, the thing about this, right, uh, uh, what, what I'm trying to get a point, uh, a point across tonight is, you know, when I, when I prepared this message, I kind of torn between two messages before we came up here. But, but Eli, can you show the, uh, the video real right quick? See, on in Monday afternoon, on the minute some of us see the video here, at lunchtime, when I went to lunch, how many did you go? Uh, I went to church of chicken, I, be, I believe. At lunchtime, and I missed this, um, I met this brother, uh, Ros- uh, his name was Roosevelt. And uh, he said, you know, so, uh, I came to the church about 18 years ago. And uh, something happened between that and I stopped coming to church. And, you know, I was, and he started beginning to reminisce about the, like his, like his old day and, and when he was at church. And, and he would think about how, how grateful, how, think, how thankful. And he, he begins to uh, talk about, you know, I he, he loved Bishop. He loved the church. He wanted to get back to church. Also, he mentioned, he said th- something about uh, but the harm was here. And uh, he say, you know, but the be keep contact with me, be text me, those type of thing, and keep me in devotion. So that the thing about it is, I'm looking at after 18 years, how shall it be? You know, this ain't nothing but about the Holy Ghost. Nothing but the Holy Ghost, the move upon the people. I believe we, we, the people will come back to neck. Those people that are far away. <laughs> the, see, our logic is how shall it be? The Holy Ghost will come upon you. So I'm going to leave with you the verses here, uh, Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him does he able to do exceeding abundantly, so above all we can ask to think, according to the power of the highest, the work is in us.